Hi, Janet Beckers here with a quick tip for you on using Facebook. This was a tip shared by Mari Smith, the Facebook um, Facebook expert when I interviewed her and it's a great idea because it's a way of really keeping all of your contacts or your friends in Facebook organized into different groups. Now the advantage of this is when you want to send an um, an event invitation or you want to send a message or you want to make your status update only visible to certain people you can then select from a list of um, what people you want that to go to so it means that you're not sending things out to everybody it helps you manage your um, privacy settings and it just allows you to keep things so much more organized so it's a great idea and I wish that I had done that from the very, very beginning because now I've got thousands of people to go back and try and organize. So hopefully this will help you. So first of all, I'm, I'm here at Facebook. I'm going to log in. Okay. And here I am. This is my um, home page when I log into Facebook. So you can see all these people are making comments. Now what I'm going to do is go over here to the right to account and I'm going to go to edit friends. Now you can see over here that heavens I've got 108 friend requests. Um, handy hint when you send a request please put a comment about why you're requesting and who you are because um, there's just too many unknown people they don't really get um, even looked at. So um, what I've got here, you see these here, these are lists that I've already started and you can see I've already got one here saying who are these people from when I did accept people who didn't send a message. Um, and there's other ones here. So I'm going to show you how to start a list and how to add people to it. So to the right here, create a list. Okay, now this pop-up's come so I'm going to put a name here. So I'm going to put um, people I have interviewed. So I haven't got that one there. And then I want to add my first person. So I'm going to add Mari Smith because Mari is my friend here on Facebook. And she's come up here. And because this is, I've just interviewed Mari this week. So here we go. I'm going to add Mari. And then I'm going to click down here to create a list. Um, oh, here's somebody else I've interviewed. I may as well add her while I'm here. create list. Okay so the nice part here is I can come back here and I can edit lists as well so I might decide that I want to add her to something else. Um, but there you go. So we'll just leave it here people I have interviewed. And if I wanted to, that would be for removing them from that list, but it's not going to be deleting them. So you can see, um, you know, it's so much easier if you start this from the beginning than having to go back and see other people. So it's suggesting people here who I may want to add, and heavens, none of those are people I've interviewed, so I don't know how it's worked out, that one. Um, so there you go. That's how you create a list um, in Facebook and so now you can use that when you're going to be doing a status update let me see if I can show you how to do that I'm going to go back over here to home and I'm going to write something here okay so I'm here I'm going to write my status so I'm going to say um, I'm making a video on how to create lists in Facebook um, and send a message only to them. Oh, no, not send a message, send a status update. Only to them. Like, I'm going to show you also how to tag here, so at Mari. Mary Smith, there we go. Oh, I wonder which one she uses. This is the face I recognise. Mary Smith um, taught me. There we go. Now, what I'm going to do is I only want to make this go to my list, um, only to the people who are on that list. So, Marion um, is going to be the only person seeing this. So, customise. And I'm going to go to specific people. Now, these people, I'm going to start writing 
people I have interviewed. So it could have either chosen individual people, but it's chosen this list. I'm going there. So I don't want to make it my default setting, so I'm saying save the setting and say share. There we go. And that should only go out to the people who were on that list. There we go. So that's how you create a list, um, how you add people to it, then how you um, then create a status update and make it so it's only visible to those people. So I'd love to hear your ideas. Have you used this? Does this help you? How, anything else that you can suggest that can help people on this theme? Just leave your comments down below. I'd really appreciate if you'd um, contribute to the conversation and see if we can um, get to use Facebook even better. So bye and I'll see you on the next video.